Yes, Lord, Big Stewie checking in, man. Trapping out the trap house. You know what's going on, man. Big Stewie, it's like uncut. That's what I do. I got a young lady in the building by the name of Detroit Barbie. Yeah, yeah what up, though? What up, though? Uh, Detroit Barbie. What's, what is it like growing up in Detroit? Yeah, y'all said he fucked up sometimes. That shit is damn, like... Damn, I want to say it's fucked there. up. No, no, yeah. So let me fix it because Detroit's some gangsters, okay? All yeah, my respect, I, I, I got family I was almost over there. Cartier glasses, the baller. Some, some, they spicy. Shot the girls caller. are spicy. The guys got yeah. big money. Some of my long money up there. Independent money. Street yeah. money. You know what I'm saying? I know about the legends. I ain't going to speak on their names. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Someone rest in peace. Rest in peace. You know what I'm saying? Ice wood, all that, Blade. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I know about love. I'm here. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here man. Go on, I'm here. I'm about to get this free, money. Come on now. Free yeah. 42, dog. You know what I'm Let saying? Let out free. I'm with all that. Tell me what's going on, man. What, is like, what was like growing up with you? You know what I'm saying? Man, <clears throat> so growing up with me, um, I'm from like the Dexter Linwood area too. Uh, kind of in the same area as like Cash and Rocky Bad. Rocky Bad is like from the same type of uh, area I'm from. Cash Doll like literally like probably like a mile away. Mm, that's my girl. So I'm from a Dex. Yes, I'm from a Dexter Linwood area. Um, growing up for me, um, like like I said, my childhood wasn't really like that bad. Mm-hmm. For a minute, I had both parents. For a so, minute, what happened? Somebody cheated. My dad, you know, my mom. God, Lee, I was what? hoping it was your mom. <laughs> Oh, I was. I wish it was her too. Mama. Sometimes you got to do it. Women don't do it enough, man. It's always the men, man. Y'all no, got no, to don't, do don't, it. Don't Just get out that. there. Just get your feet wet a little bit. Put your feet in the man, water. Put they your be feet back in them shoes, goddamn. Oh man, no. So what, put it in the water. Okay, so what happened? So that, but, what, that um, happened. But um, really, kind of just like my dad, my mom. She, she, she. You know, women got mouth. You know what I'm saying? Women got mouth. Especially from Detroit. Yeah, for mm. real. We we and y'all from the Midwest too. Mm. We, could, we could we could we could, we could yeah, because I could put you in a body bag just Come with on, this y'all tongue. Be stabbing, on y'all God. Be getting real real yeah. personal. So I think it was really like a, a, a kind of verbal type of thing that okay. made my dad leave for real. He did a lot for us, <clears throat> a lot for my family. So um, really, it comes a time where you got to learn how to respect people if mm. they doing what they regardless of what's going on. If they doing what they supposed to do. You gotta learn how to respect that, cause everybody ain't gonna do that. Every man you meet ain't gonna do that either. Right. You could you can run a good man away, cause you feel like this, and you can find another man that you think is so charming. He might not have nothing for you. Come on now. So grass ain't always green on the other side. It ain't always. They, they always be talking about it though. They be trying Let to figure out. it out. Man. So this new generation is young ladies on Instagram. Let's be honest. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these girls get their body done, but they don't get their first personality fixed. How you right. feel about that? So I've been on the table. Okay. I've been on the table before. Um, I wasn't. I wasn't saying that you. Yeah, had no, I'm been. saying it's realistic. Okay. Like I've been on the table before, but it didn't change who I was. Okay. Cause um, this booty been fat. Okay. So that's just facts. So, so what was your reasons actually? Like, what was your reasons? Cause it's sometimes... like back rows, and okay. I still got. I'm gonna go back to the doctor because I start eating. Oh, I had a while ago, a couple years ago. Spent all that money for nothing. So, huh? Spent all. I that like money to for... eat, man. I'm trying to figure it out. What? I have to go get on it again. You can't keep getting on the table just because you don't want to eat right. You I'm gonna go be work out. About something. I'm figuring it out now. I just, and I used to be a fat boy. Today too, was so. the day. Today was the day that I was like, you know what? Today. I'm gonna eat a salad. <laughs> get your ass out of here. <laughs> okay, so, so okay, so growing up in Detroit, you know what I'm saying? Like that's a rough area. You know what I'm saying? Detroit got a lot of gangsters out there. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Um, I mean, I've seen a lot of abandoned buildings. Beautiful city. A lot of bandos. <laughs> a lot of bandos. A lot of bandos. Man, bandos my, my the house I grew up in is a bando now. I just went out there. We just was out there maybe like a month ago, and I took my team to show them where I grew up at and stuff. And it's a bando now, you know what I mean. And then I'm like the whole block damn near a bando. Mm. So yeah. So so how did it, like your dad leaving affect you? Like you know what I'm saying? We always talk about daddy issues. Like I had an interview uh, with before. Like a lot of women I heard got daddy issues. Like did it affect you or? We're working stuff out. Like my dad lives in Tennessee, so he's only two hours away from me now that I live in Atlanta. Okay. Um, my brother got married. Um, like. A couple months ago. Come on, black men get married. Black okay, men get married. Okay, period. Dun, right, dun, right, dun, right. dun, 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 Need to. Do it. So, um, yeah. So, my brother got married. My dad came to the wedding. He kind of talking more. He finally met, you know what I'm saying, some people that he did not meet before and different things like that. And I'm not mad at him. I just know that way. when he was around, I had more. Mm. You know what I'm saying? He was able to provide more for me. Once he left my dad, once, once he left my mom, we ain't had that much, so my mom mm. was left to struggle a lot more. So Christmas wasn't Christmas no more. Mm. Um, man, just the weekends wasn't the weekends no more. Vacations wasn't vacations no more. You know what I mean? So when he left, but we blame men a lot. Sometimes we got to blame women. Sometimes these women will run these men away. What? Did you the first one to ever say? Come on now. Flat out. That's the truth. You Sometimes you run your man away. 
You know what I'm saying? Because you get in a relationship, you get comfortable. Now you with your wig off and you nagging. Put that bald head and ass you run, up. Yeah, and you what running. them sideburns you, know you had, bitch, when we started dating. Okay, because I don't see them. That's flat out. That's period. So you running around here. Now you nagging. You complaining about everything I do. But if I'm providing for you and giving, every, giving you everything you need, bro, sit your ass down and chill. I love you already. Like, chill out. If it don't work out with your next guy, I'm going to call you if it don't work on me and my lady. Girl, <laughs> you, got it, you got it together now. How yeah. do you feel about this, the, 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 I guess the the world of the black men right now because we be going through it. And I yeah, always people don't people don't give men the credit. And I don't think like a lot of people understand what it's like being a black man. You you go to work, you have people that's in a higher position than you, whether they're white, black, different races. They shitting on you because you the lowest totem pole. You right. gotta you, you go get some lunch. It's a Karen or a Kevin out there shitting on you because mm-hmm. you don't look the part. Okay. And you drive home. Okay. It's the police pulling you over. Mm-hmm. You go to the gas station. There's some little dirty niggas out there. Mm-hmm. Little ugly ass, dusty ass niggas out okay. there. Okay. Bootleg. Fucking with you. Bootleg. So you didn't have your whole day feeling like you wasn't shit, that you less than a man and you go home to a woman. And, and she nagging about where you been because you were an hour late. Come on, man. Talk to me about that. I want to. And, I, I, I and I finished your question. So now that I explain it for you, like, explain it to like, how do you, what would you tell some of these women out here? Because it's like, I'm it's not hard. like that, for real. Um, The thing is with me, like, um, Previously experiencing. Okay, come on. Um, I don't go through phones. Okay. I don't have to. If it's something that I need to know, it's gonna come to me. That's just period. I agree. It's gonna period. Now, if you doing me dirty, if you doing me dirt ball dirty, then I can't fuck with you. Right. I'm gonna leave you though. I ain't gonna nag you and I ain't gonna stress you because the line like section eight, baby. Everybody want that. Pump come on, on now. Huh? Come on. You hear me? Somebody so at the end of the day, party. baby, look, get it right or get it done. Yeah, I ain't about. gonna stress you, baby. I'm gonna let you. I ain't gonna stress you. I'm gonna let I'm you. Gonna let you. Hear me? On, you hear me? I like that. So listen, so but black men don't get enough credit though, because just on like you said, everywhere they go, you know what I'm saying. You got the police watching you. You're trying to figure out how you going. You man, you don't want to get shot. Okay. Black lives matter. All that shit. You feel me? Then you go home, like you said, you go home and your woman just nag you off. If I was a nigga, I wish I was. I feel like I should have been, but I'm a girl, no, so we like, we like you are. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So I'm gonna be where I'm at, but. It is stressful. Nagging, complaining, stressing, especially when a man is trying as hard as he can. His pockets might not be big, but if you mm. want a man with big money, go find you one, baby. Because mm. you over here, you sleeping with me at night every day trying to figure out why well, I ain't got what you need. If I ain't got what you need, leave me. Mm. You feel me? So, but if I'm providing as much as I can for you, you don't appreciate it. Why are you with me? You feel me? A lot of girls tend to nag they niggas too much. Mm. Bruh, gone with that shit. I'm not a nagger either because so, I don't care. So let me ask you this. What about the women that want more than they can afford? Let's talk about that. Dumb. Dumb. Because, you know, you, you we on Instagram where everything looks good. Like, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, you got to make we, it look we good. In a, we, we in a world that if I had five friends that had some money and I was dead broke, mm-hmm. I could really be like, let me wear this chain because that chain ain't got no cross mm-hmm. on it. It's generic. And they do it. Let me get that chain. Let me get that chain. I can put on five of my partner's chains, stand by all their cars and hold all their money. And every girl on Instagram. But think, ooh, oh, he shit. got money. <laughs> right? 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 That's giving, right? Right, right. But what about the girls that we see their backgrounds and they still taking pictures from that same dusty ass mirror with nothing in the background? Okay. Right. Okay, so we're gonna talk about that. What should, which, now, how should they act accordingly? First of all, act like what you got going on. <laughs> They're not gonna do that, Barbie. That, Come first on, all, now. But listen. Too much like right, but listen, Barbie. Just but listen, it's supposed to be though. Because at the end of the day, say I like you, right? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And me and you dating, you don't know what's going on in my home because I'm probably pulling up on you. We probably meeting on the outside. We probably getting hotel rooms. We probably doing all this stuff, I ain't right? For the hotel room. Now, if you, but I'm, I'm just saying, school. but I'm just saying. Now, now you pull up on me. Now it's time for me to show you the real. And I can't, I can't back up none of that shit. One thing about me, I'm just like a be myself type of person. Mm-hmm. Now, y'all women that sitting up here acting like you want, you expecting more than what you getting. I don't, that's dead wrong. I'm, I can't even speak for that. Because I'm not like that. I'll let you know, baby, look, I ain't got it. You know what I'm saying? What's up? But I don't, I don't really, like, go for me and that, that, I don't go for that. I, if, if, I, if, I, if you're attractive, like, if you're attractive, then you you're like attractive. Like you like. I like who I like. Okay, now. So I can't even really speak for that. It's just like, go ahead on. You know you ain't got it because at the end of the day, they're going to steal. If you wind up messing with somebody heavy, y'all can sleep around, y'all can, y'all can, Right. Y'all can do okay. all that, I got you. right? But when it's time for you to show him the real you, you can't even back up what you was talking about. Right. So it's going to always turn out the wrong way. That's mm-hmm. on them, though. They Women pump fake a lot. Just like niggas pump fake, 
Women be pump, pump, oh, pump, pump, hey, pump, pump think, it I, up. I think y'all got it. I Swear think y'all master in the, the bag. Oh yeah, they master everything. Women master way more things than men do. When when okay, uh, now y'all gonna get mad at this. Come on, I'm but women are a lot more smarter than men. You are. I, we are. Man, so we that. know how to work a lot of things from cheating to everything. We know how to we know how to work it. So you let me tell you why why a lot of men get mad about when they want to cheat. I know. I want to know this. You know me. from my perspective. I've been you waiting to know this because I'm grown. Right. I'm about to be forty. And Ooh, I'm fine as look fuck. at you! you. Know okay, <laughs> see the smile. He's Put like, that. you have a nails. I'm like, no, baby, my mama gave me these. You shut up! You so, shut up! The no, real? No, these are these are real deal. Oh, I'm so going to get mine done. Don't this, put the camera too much on my teeth. This, you this, should this, did this that. This the thing. All right. So let's give it a month. Mm-hmm. Me and we have four weeks of cheating a month. Mm-hmm. Y'all month got chopped down to only three weeks. Mm-hmm. All right. Mm-hmm. Me and my <clears> man don't manscape. They don't have to shade their balls, shade their dick hairs down. You know, we going wolf. We got to clean hit, that stuff we, up. We hitting them wolf. You got to glam it up. Mm. You got to, you know what I'm saying? You gotta, first good. of all, you're three weeks out. You know what I'm saying? You're three weeks out, okay? Mm-hmm. The, you know what I'm saying? You're only three weeks. So one week, you know what I'm saying? You use a lot of women that I know grow wolf that, during that period day. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So you then took time to shave that thing down, mm-hmm. wash it, mm-hmm. fuck me for these three weeks, mm-hmm. and then have time to cheat. Mm-hmm. Bitch, you got to die. Wow. Well, you see where the cheating. anger comes from because you see how much planning you have to go through. Like, like men, we can just drop. So I, can can talk about this, I can talk sure about this though. I can talk about this. Can I talk straight? about this right now? I can. Ah, on, I can talk about this Come right on, now. Man, talk listen, to me. listen. Come on, you, mm. you, you click listen. your feet on. We. I'm gonna just talk about me. Listen. Yeah, don't put baby. Them holes if you in the think you're gonna play with me, you can't play with me. Mm. On God. Because, yeah, I make this motherfucker purdy. You feel oh. me? I make this pussy purdy oh. in it a purr. Okay. You feel me? So that's why you get your shit together. Because mm. if you fuck me over, I'm going to go fuck whoever I feel like, and I'm going to make them feel real good. Mm. You hear me? Because I can do that. Mm. And men are way more factuated with women than women are factuated with men. Sometimes the size don't add up. Sometimes a lot of shit don't add up. Mm. But this pussy going to purr if it purr. Mm. You feel me? Flat out. We didn't have some, um, a lot of guys out here, they're going to stamp this video because we didn't have some unpurrables. Yeah. Wasn't really purring. But it if, it like purr, it right. purr. if it purr, it purr. If it purr, it purr. Hey, hey, don't be over there. Hey. <laughs> I'm hey, not nah. saying, I'm not saying. Don't laugh over purr. there. Don't go over that table that over there. Hey. Like they got Get there. from under that table. Now they got that. Get from under that table. Get from under that table. If it purr, it purr. You feel me? For sure. On God. I'm speaking for myself. I just feel like as a man, you got to know who you are as a man. And right. if that's a woman that you love, then don't even play like that. Yeah, don't even See, play, like, play that. like that. Yeah, don't play if, like if, that. If, if this relationship get fucked up, it's gonna because of you. It ain't gonna because of me. Exactly. Right, and that's the, that's and that's and that's what women, good women too, though. Because mm. you could, you could be a good man and still have a fucked up woman. That's what good men mm. need because that's all a woman really be wanting. Some women be so hung up over a man and he be not nothing. You know what I mean? You be so hung up over him, you think he got everything, and then you're still trying to, you dealing with this shit. He, he fucking up, and you like, you know what? Oh, you know what? Because they, some, a lot of women don't want to keep going out, and this is facts. Mm-hmm. A lot of women don't want to keep going out finding another man. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Once you find somebody you really like or you really mm-hmm. care about, I'm going to vibe with you. Let's do this. You know what I'm saying? Let's get current, a bag together. You, let's... you don't be current because that ain't your thought. That what you said? That ain't my thought, but that's a thought. Mm-hmm. You feel me? If I if I vibe with you, I'm going to vibe with so you. So you going you gonna to still wipe a thought? Or are you just gonna deal with the thought for a second? What um what what future say? I can't wipe no thoughts up my dick to you. See, future not, is, you see, future you future is not, my brother. Future's listen, ratchet. So you, they, you listen, can't, y'all you gotta stop. My dick, y'all, it's not coming out your mouth, baby. I don't give a damn what you do, baby. Like, listen, yeah, me, hey, that's a blessing. That is a blessing. Hey, but hey, you baby, can't me out. see that's the problem. <laughs> see, future like my brother. So he's a he yeah. has a different mindset, and that I he, do too. His, his, his mindset is not <laughs> logical. Okay, I'll tell him to this to his face. His mindset is not logical. Mine's probably not either because the world is different. But I feel like this. If you, this is just me. If I, what, okay, what you don't know won't hurt you. That's facts. You got to run with that shit your whole life. If you literally find some shit out, then that'll fuck your head up. Mm. But if you don't know, it won't hurt you. If my man out here doing me bad, bro, I don't know that shit. Don't send them hoes to me. Don't send them to me. So do you think, you think that men, you think all men cheat? I don't think all men cheat, mm. but I mean, I don't think all women cheat, but sometimes we got to do what we got to do depending on what it is. Mm. Sometimes, sure. like, like honestly, sometimes you can't help it. You might be totally in love with somebody. 
You know, baby. Now, now I'm going to take you all the way back in the day. You remember Babyface and Pebbles, they made that song, Love Make Things Happen. Mm -hmm. You never know where it's coming from. You never know who you're going to love. You could be a married man with two kids and a good woman. Mm -hmm. Okay? And look, your heart and soul, you can bet your heart and soul, it won't mean nothing because love will put you in a spell to spin your mind like carousels, right? right? You will fall in love with somebody like, damn, it'll be a, a attraction. You cannot help an attraction. It's on you whether you're going to follow up or you not. Yeah, you know not. what I'm saying? But sometimes temptation is a motherfucker. Yeah, but you got to get... get mm. see, Control. Yeah, but I think that when, when you're in a certain place in life, like, there's no such thing. Like, I feel like you... If you embody everything with who you are as a person, then you control everything that happens. Grown man. Yeah. Grown man. Everybody not like that. Right. You are one of the very few, and that's females and males. You are one of the very few. Because I'm a hot boy. Like, I, I I used to be a hot boy in these streets. Now I'd be like, baby, no thank you. Yeah. Oh, God. Because you, you got to be like that yeah. nowadays. And you, monkey and especially when they can't afford some child support. <laughs> and you know monkey yeah, My baby might probably boy, be like, you always say somebody's child support. Yes, because my child support is high. Okay. Every mother can't support my child support. Yeah. Okay, it's all good. So tell me about this, um, my throat. Hmm. Not my throat, but yours. Okay. Because you don't want to make the song. Right. What is it about your throat that you had to rap about it? Um <laughs> My throat a monster for real. I know what to do. I know I know what to do with this. Like, so what would you okay, so what would you tell ladies that don't? Uh, know what to do with their throat. They don't, so throat, don't, don't like so throat. So I'm gonna sex. tell you, I'm gonna explain to you what throat is about. Throat is about you got a man, he doing all these nice things, everything that you want. Okay, instead of you nagging him every time he come in the door, bitch, why about you be on your knees? If he tell you I'm about to pull up, how about you on your knees as soon as that door open, you like this? That is that. You know what I'm saying? It's amazing. You need to write a book. Oh God, need to. So what, 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 what's, the, what's the nicest way that a man can ask for some fellatio? I don't really think. I mean, I, people don't have to ask me. What I'm saying, like, like, what would be? It's like my I favorite think thing that to sometimes, do. Sometimes, man, we be like, I don't want to be disrespectful. I don't want to say nothing fucked up. But like, Give can you head? suck my dick? Sounds crazy. Give me some head. That sounds crazy. That sounds no, it like, don't. Nice I love head. that. Give me some head. I love that. But like, if I'm I always giving head before they girl, ask. I'm gonna ask my girl head. that if I get smacked, it's gonna be your fault. <laughs> Try back them. What are you using? <laughs> Yeah. What are you what are you what I mean how do you ask for it? Like do you be like, excuse me, ma'am? Like I, I don't know. I'm t I'm You wanna know too? The answer is because this is a good question for me. I don't I don't know. Well clearly you don't have I to worry know, about it. Because that's a like you, that's, that, did you? you mm -hmm. know you don't want to be rude. You don't have to worry about it. You know if you saying? if you sit next to her and y'all like each other a little bit. Look, you ain't gotta act look. She said it. So you don't really know? <laughs> Well, how to ask? No, Betsy. Nah, I, I don't. I just don't. Saying. I just kind of like you know. What about off the hoochie juice? If, I never had hoochie juice. So explain to me. But about I'm saying like juice. if the girl had hoochie juice, you explain to me hoochie juice do first. You ask her for the head, or do you just get the head off the hoochie juice? Hoochie juice gonna make it, make it, make it buzz. What to do? <laughs> Good question. I'm trying to figure out like how do you ask for head respectfully? Yeah. We I need mean, to ask that question. Like, I, that but, I, I'm answering. I mean, me, you can't ask me how do you ask for head. How do you only like? How do you ask? How do you ask a man to ride his face? How do you ask a man to like? I, had a, I don't know I, that. I, in my past, I had a girl like. Let me see your face. I don't know. I've Bitch, never really listen. Sure I've never you. dealt with like if I want some. I, 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 I've never like sex with me is like it's gonna all get done. I get this to me. I get that. Ask for itself. Okay, so yeah. okay, so 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 let me give you different scenarios. You got sex at night, you got sex during the day, you got sex before work, you got sex, you got quickies, you got everything. So I'm about to go to work, you about to go to work, babe. What I do? Me? If you about to go to work, if you gave I'm me advice, walk you my sister. Walk up, walk up, walk up, walk up. You ain't gotta ask me. So a woman should give her you don't man have to ask me. when he go to get ready to go to work. Keep him drain, me. drain him every time. I do not have to ask me. If drain I fuck with you like that. I'm going to be mopping that motherfucker every chance I get because I'm trying to make sure you stay picked. Mm. You feel me? If I fuck with you like that, yeah, I'm going to, yeah. You don't have to ask me. Like, like I, I can't say that because if I if I mop that motherfucker, you ain't ever ask me. Ask somebody that I whack that motherfucker. They ain't ask me. I'm in there like swimwear. Oh. 
Okay. You know well, what I'm on oh, that God. note, trap back in my action later Wait, on. What? I'm just putting it out there. Uh, it's oh. going down, man. Detroit <laughs> Barbie second in the building, man. Trap out, trap out. You know what's going on. My throat is out right now. That ain't my thought. It's out right now. Go get it on all platforms. We're going to get some more with a Detroit Barbie as her career moves on. I appreciate y'all coming rock with you. Oh, you waited like that? Yeah, just like that. It's going down. <laughs> This is my show. This my this my show. Fuck your couch, nigga. It's going down, man. Big Stewie. Yes, Lord. Chopping the trap house. Go. <laughs>